There are many skills you need to learn to become a better Rocket League player. Skills like the fast aerial, the power shot, how to carry the ball, how to hit the ball, how to play deep. Okay, you get the point. But today we're going to be going over what is by far the most important skill you can learn in all of Rocket League. The air dribble. In the words of the great philosopher Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz, if you can't air dribble, then you ain't sh**. Jeez. He's 100% right though. Air dribbling is the easiest to learn, hardest to defend, highest percentage shot in the entire game. You can literally never go wrong attempting an air dribble. Plus, there is a direct correlation between your ability to air dribble and the size of your hitbox. So let's get into it. First, what is air dribbling? Well, it's basically carrying the ball in the nose of your car while flying through the air. Yeah, pretty crazy, right? Sadly, most of us are not even close to being this good at air dribbling. So let's go back to the basics. The first step is to get the ball to roll slowly at the wall. It's definitely easier if the ball is rolling slowly and not bouncing. But as we will see later, advanced players can air dribble from almost anywhere. Try to position your car a little bit back from the ball as it's rolling, and then hit the ball right as it's starting to come up the vertical part of the wall. Don't jump off the wall, don't dodge, don't do anything, just let your car hit the ball. That's it. At this point you're going to want to jump off the wall and start air dribbling, but just hang on for a second. Your goal should be to hit the ball out into the field, towards the goal. If the ball is higher on the wall when you hit it, your angle will need to be more horizontal, but if it's lower, you can have your car at more of a vertical angle. It's going to take a ton of practice before you get this down, so don't listen to people who try to tell you that there's this exact place on the wall where you want to hit the ball, or a specific spot where you should jump off. It's really more of a feel thing. Plus, you're almost never going to have that perfect setup in a real game. So try getting used to hitting the ball off different parts of the wall at different speeds. Okay. Now just jump off the wall and air dribble it into the goal. Just kidding. Ah, the first touch, so important yet so difficult. I talked in my previous video about becoming one with your car. Air dribbling is basically becoming one with the ball. You can't become one if your first touch isn't soft enough. That's what she said. Don't you dare. So. How do you get your car to the ball without hitting the ball away from your car? First, if the ball is far from you, try to stop boosting right before your car hits the ball, and then start boosting again after that first touch. However, the sooner you jump off the wall, the less distance your car will have to travel, and the less speed it will generate before hitting the ball. Ideally, you want to jump off the wall a split second after you hit the ball. Again, this takes hours and hours and hours of practice. Air dribbling is all about car control. And I'm not just saying that to get you to watch my other video. You simply can't do this unless you have complete control over your car and you're comfortable flying it in every possible way. Practice picking a corner in the goal before you start your air dribble and try to maneuver the ball to that corner. Other than that, you're just going to have to practice and practice and practice and practice some more. Oh yeah, one last thing, you should definitely try air dribbling in car cam. As with dribbling on the ground, you will have way more precision, and your camera won't be moving constantly. Beyond that, I can't really help you. The rest is up to you, keep practicing.